so hello and welcome back to another video my friends this video we are gonna take a look at react 17 so what's new in react 17 nothing much is new but two things are new and I've I've encountered one bug so let's take a look at it before you upgrade to react 17 so what so what I did is I created a project with create react app which I didn't decide what to do okay so that was the project not decided yet but still it was a cool project I mean I didn't do anything I haven't changed anything the files are same and it's a react 17 project so whenever you use create react app now so npx create react app or yarn create react app so whenever you use that it will create a project using react 17 so I'm gonna open it with code so that we can uh, work with it and here it is okay here's here's the visual studio code and so here if I open up the package.json file hopefully you can see in the dependencies section that react and react dom are 17.0.1 okay so these are the versions for react and react dom and react scripts is 4.0.0 and let me just zoom in okay so if we go into the src let's say index.js the very first file we are still importing react from react okay now we when we import react from react you can we can use that um, what's called gsx transform and we are using import react from react because we are using the strict mode here and if we go to app.js we will not import okay that's nice so we are not importing react from react here and eslint is giving me some error here so let's just stay away with it so now let's go to npm scripts and let's run the start script which means basically the npm start okay that's gonna start our development server on port 3000 so here it is okay our react app is running and uh, let me tell you if you are if you want to upgrade your own project to react 17 so it's not that hard what you need to do is just change the versions of these three things okay react um sorry not this one these ones so react to 17.0.1 react dom to 17.0.1 and react scripts to 4.0.0 so first step is to change these versions inside of our package.json and then if you're using npm run npm i if you're using yarn then uh, run yarn okay so that will install these these versions of uh, i mean these packages with these versions so then your app will be upgraded if we take a look the first thing i have noticed is we don't import react from react and now and also we are using the strict mode here and for strict mode we are still importing react which we don't actually need so how can we do how we, how can we uh, fix that so i can just go ahead take this out and i can just destructure strict mode okay i can go down and then change this from react or strict mode to just strict mode i'm gonna save this file and you'll see it still works one more thing it the hot reload has has become faster okay it has become a lot more faster what it does is now whenever you save the file and then whenever you take a look it won't uh, refresh the page it will just uh, change the contents of the page so let's me let me just go to our app.js file and let me just take this out so inside of our app.js file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this app is using uh, using react hit save and then you won't see the page reload okay this will only change that 
uh, whatever content we have so what's wrong let's just take a look okay so everything's right but it says okay so I don't know what was wrong but it didn't reload for some reason so now let's get rid of this text actually let's get rid of the whole header and then let me just keep it side by side so that you all can see it properly I mean what's uh, what's wrong what's not so yeah okay now it's fine and then let's just save this file <clears throat> so now as you can see it actually got uh, I mean it actually got rid of the header now it says logo is not defined so I mean logo is defined but never used that's an yes lint error so I can just go inside of this div and then I can just say h1 hello world now just uh, observe this icon right over here it won't reload and as you can see it didn't reload and it said hello world okay that's the power of react 17 you won't you didn't have to wait for the page to reload okay, when once you change anything okay and hopefully that's it and there's one more thing now that react 16 supported but uh, react 17 has uh, didn't support is the service workers now in react 17 actually in react script 17 so that means whenever you use npx react create react app uh, that doesn't support the service workers now okay that's uh, they have something else called report web vitals so if you are using service workers then you have to make your own custom service workers I I, um, I had to face many problems with my to do app uh, with my max to do's app if you remember if you don't remember so basically these service I, I used these service workers from react but sadly those service workers just went away okay so uh, now you have to make your own service workers and you should take a look at the report web vitals if you want to read about the JSX transform, here is the article. Here is the blog article from React itself. Although React 17 doesn't contain any new features, we will provide support for a new version of JSX transform. So you don't need to import React. Okay, so as you did right over here, you don't need to do do this again. Instead, uh, I mean, what if you wrote this? This thing will be executed. Would have been executed but with only this uh, this thing would be executed so you don't actually need that uh, react import so now if you want to get rid of all of your react imports in your project what you can do is inside of your project you can run this thing npx react code mod so let me just show it to you if I just uh, go ahead and import react everywhere I want so let's keep the strict mode let's also import react okay although we don't need it let's import it let's go to app js and let's import react here as well so import react from react here we go okay now what now what we have is in index.js and in app.js we have react imported now assume that this is your own project so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop the server because we don't need to take a look at the preview now okay I'm gonna open up the terminal and I can just run that command npx react code mod so that's a code mod I can just run this command hit enter and let's make this terminal full screen so what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you some questions and then it's gonna remove all of the react imports and uh, it says uh, before you continue okay so it says come uh, to commit it tells me to commit my changes but I don't want to do that okay if I don't want to do that I can just add a force flag to it and that will force it to run code mod okay so it says git directory is not clean okay on which files or directory so it says dot which means this for this folder 
hit enter and then you can select which one i mean if you use typescript you can go with typescript javascript with flow and javascript so let's go with javascript because our project is javascript so it's going to uh, change everything and as you can see it says to okay which means it changed two files which are okay i mean now they are okay so as you can see it removed that react import and if we go to app.js it removed that react import as well and i hope this video was helpful to you please like and share it and comment down below if you have any issues with react 17 what uh, if you have any react 17 apps comment them down below i, I can comment about them and finally thanks for watching